Okay, let me bring a little more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so where we got to last time, we're going to start here in the page at top, uh, pay, uh, top of page, Toph Resh, Kof Aleph. Toph Resh, Kof Aleph. Let me get a little bit closer. So over there it says like this. We were talking about the Yud Gimbal Tukundi Dikta de Radlo. O Malchus Ak. Now, so he's going a completely different direction. We have a problem here is, is that the, the Sifra de Tzniyuta says that the, the, the beard is not mentioned any place. So he says, on the other hand, he brings us two places where, in fact, the, the 613 Dikunim of the beard are mentioned. But that's a problem, and they're trying to work it out in different ways. One is one of the ideas is that one refers to Eric Anpin, of this description, uh, and the Panemius of Eric Anpin, which is a description. It's a little bit hard to hear, but that's what he says, that those are names that describe it, describe them, but it's not the, the 13 Tukundi Dikna. Uh, it's a particularly, and the other says it refers to another idea is that it refers to, to Zer Anpin, of the chef of the Zer Anpin, but Zer Anpin's not the Iker. The Iker is Eric Anpin, it's not really mentioned. So we had that idea, but I don't think they really went together all that well. So it was a little bit spatial. Here comes the uh, the uh, Reis Rook. He said, "A beer and those of the Indian Dikna lo as ask lo idgar the fee kabbalah of Reis Rook. He mashu Amar Khan the Yud Gimel the Kundi Dikta of the Eidah and his Karen Betara." So we said made that statement, right? A kabbalah of the Yud Gimel the Kundi Dikta of the Shal Reisha the Lo Isyada. Oh, it veys mir. Vela Yud Gimel the Kundi of the Dikta and his Karen Betara. What are them? Heim the Kundi Dikta shall Eric Anpin. Rave Ferish Marie Saruk, so we're going to get more of that. Vizel the Shano. This is what he says. He says, Vizel the Shano, Dikna, Pirish, a Yud Gimma de Kunim, Shal Rasha de Lo Isyada, Lo Idkar Batara. So he spells it out. He's talking about a very, very high place. A commotion is Gar be Yud Gimma de Kunim, Shal Rasha de Ayan, the Ayan, Benavi Mechos, like we have the, 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 the 13. The kunim of the ayin, what's the ayin of the nothing that came from uh, Micha? For him, uh, Amikel Kamochas, in other words, he goes through this, which someone had said previous, one of the other Pirushas said that this is like a description, it's not really a name. So, which is Amikel Kamochas, so that is a, a, a metaphor, uh, what would you say, uh, descriptive. For him, the Yud Gimba, the kunim, the Shachab Rasha, the Erech, the Rich, Nizkarna, the Torah, the Pasha, the Kisisa. So, we have that over there. Vehem kel rachon v'chanu, kumafor barichos that explained over in depth. Beidra rabba b'parshas the so ein sham ad ad gan. V'chuv devar b'kam b'mekomos. So this is really brought out in a lot of different places. Rei bezor bezor rakias and was the seva emek melach. Vehem b'muvah b'omer b'omer man o v'nor b'yisrael. So let's go on a little bit more. So he says, oh. <coughs> So he said, there's an explanation over here. So in other words, it came out of that. So he said about those ears of Adam Kadmon. He says like this. So part of the light that's coming out of the ears of Eric Anpin Contains the Yud Gimel Tikuni Dikna the Mechamanusa. Now that's our our problem. Before was what does Mechamanusa mean? So we had a lot of different thoughts about that. He said, but it's 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 koach. This way I want to translate it. It's koach is very very thin, meaning that it's almost non-existent. But obviously it's an ultimate koach. So I don't know. He said Tikuni Dikna the Menusa bekoach dach maod. It's very, very fine. Ad shenigvach the mount of Eroshatika until it actually carves out a place for itself down below in the Rosh of Atika, which is Eric Anpin. So of the Hainu, Zion de Kunu Mamalchul Shalo, that is, it, 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 the four, the seven difficulties of his Malchus. Balfila Ozim shall Malchus Adam Kadman, and even when we're talking about the Malchus of Adam Kadman, Adam Nils Karnan Betura. Over the vim, the feet rove zakusim, vadakusim, because they are so unbelievably fine. Let's go down and see. There's a little bit on this. If we see if we can pick this up.
I'm trying to get if this thing doesn't focus that easily. Okay, so we'll try that for a focus. He says, look down at number, uh, that would be number Lama down below. He says, Oh, there is a ray look along the fee pirish marisa rook, sham. But Tom de lo idgar, so he says straight out that the reason why it's not mentioned the law of kind of bishum kvod vishvach vikiyotzeboy. So that was the original idea. That was the idea that we had is because it's it's unmentionable because of its glory, uh, so to speak. So he says, Ella Bishum the Dikna the Raish the Lo Isya that it's because of this, that it's something that we have no idea. Now Lama's Batakli is Aloma a helm, so it's ultimately completely and totally hidden. Kamo on the shama betocha goof like the shama that's hidden inside of the body. So let's go on a little bit more and let's go over here and pick this up. So he says, after number lama, it says, Rak Shlomo, only Shlomo Malach. So this we heard previously a little bit. Rak Shlomo, Choshalom Melech, Allah Vishalom, his gear Kuma Shalom. He mentions the Kuma of what? Of the Rash Lo Isida or what? Vain the Mazgir Hadigna, the Lash and the Ember of Bashir Rashirim, like he says, like that. Is he talking about? Uh, Eric Anpin, I got a little lost on that one. So Shirin, uh, so and he he quotes a little bit over there. Rosha Kassim Paz like that. I don't know if I pronounce it. He says it only mentions his cheeks. The close of the cheeks is where there's a beard. And that's the reason why, that's all it says. It doesn't mention that. So he says, okay, that's what it is. Ratzel Loma wants us to say, like what? He says, It's only mentioned by that phrase. Let's look at number Lamed Aleph down below and see if we can get something out of that. He says, he says, "Behu pirish al shlishi v'zel d'shano." Okay, you do a ki abba ve'ima, which are yak, nikraim al mitzima stima. Let's call they're called the the hidden world or the closed world. Uh, why are they called that? For the chaim hatamim. So he also wants to correspond that uh, them to the tamim, which goes on with the, uh, which with with the uh with the chachma. The Nakudas goes along, I guess he's going to say this, the Nakudas Shem Besod Yud K. So the Tam and Nakudas, so again, the Tam and Nakudas are very mysterious, but let's go on. Enim Nechtavich of Torah, they're not written in Torah either. So the top parts are never written in the Torah. Rak Osios Vatagim Shehem Besod Vav K, which are the lower elements that reveal, that's the Zat. So it represents, the Zat is revealed, but the Gar is not, which is Yud K. So it's also possible to say like this. So it actually covers or it holds. It says it holds, tofes or grips. Makom Abba Ve'im and other covers them over. And I know that we saw Rabbi Yaakov Hillel say that this is actually not 100% true. It also goes down all the way to the floor. But the main ichor of it is at the also stops at the tibor. That's what he said. So I, I so you see here he says it only goes to the tibor. B'sham is time kumus abba ve'ima. That's also where ukaba ve'ima. No, that's what we're going on, uh, trying to say that shehem yud k kenisker, which are the yud k that we talk about. They're covered over by the beard. You couldn't know that they were there. Bechain ain't a muskar. So therefore they're not mentioned because you can't see them or they're not seeable. A betayra. And since his aspect Abba Ve'ima, he says, Abba Ve'ima, Shehem Yud Ke Kenizkar, Bechein Eino Muzkar. So you know, say it, that's what it says. Digda Rebetara, so the Digda Betara. Kevin Shehu Bechinas Abba Ve'ima, so since the, 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 he wants to say that the Digna is the aspect of Abba Ve'ima, because why they're attached to it, so to speak, because the beard comes down on top of them. Shehem Bechinas Tamim Venekudos, there, the Necham and the Kudas, the Ham and the Kudas are hidden behind the beard, and that's the reason why they're not written about in the Torah. Okay, we have a few, a couple more minutes. Let's see if we can, you never know. 
Maybe we could pick up something else. So let's go on to uh, number uh, the next part. The next part says, Yakirusa Gilui Kavu the El So this is another idea. Its preciousness or its glory is revealed reveals the glory, the upper glory. Uh, so as we're explaining here, as we're going on in the Sifat Ditsaniyuta, the Ormach Abitam Lamelo Nizkar Hadikta Bepasuk. Why isn't it mentioned? That's our big question. Begin to he a Yeki Rusa the Kula because it's the the ultimate glory, the upper precious precious glory. Rebbe Bir Hamashula the Fira Rizal Shid is Baral P. Divira Idra Rabba. A little bit of Shem Amari Rashbi Khan, he said, Ki lechen lo nizker hadik de bepasuk. It's the reason you don't see this as the pasuk. But of Fila bezer anpin, even zer anpin, you don't want to talk about it over there there either. Mishum shechadik na hu hayakar. It's really the 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 ultimate glory. V'rashvach v'rashlemus shall call a parts of the whole parts of. It's the glory of the parts of. Now we have a lamed base on this. The question is, what does the glory of the parts of mean? Because of its preciousness, v'chashivusa, and its importance, it's lo nizker b'pasuk. It's not mentioned in pasuk. Ein sham v'rei b'ha'arvasham. There are arvus over there, and there are arvus over here. So let's look at number. We have time to look at number lamed base. If I go fast, but beer divri idra rabbi it says sham rei b'kol b'ramasham b'zal d'shono. Behind dikna shleim musa the partsufa, he says the perfection of it. Behind the sheacher kol hamochin the gadlos oz nikra adam shalom. After that point, the parts of shalom. Behind the sheacher kol yotzer habedikna beyud gimel shanim veeloch. Now here you have a thirteen dekunim, and now it was always funny or curious to me the concept of of thirteen years how it actually fits together. So he says the beard appears after thirteen years. Uh, uh, I think that's what he says. Fihina Ravi Iker Inyan Shell Godless Yud Gimel Shonim. Shaykh Lechoira Rak Hossam, the Irech of Bezer Anpen, where it's talking about Zer Anpen. Why? The Nigdach of Mechabetebe Mibachin is Vav, because it starts out as a Vak, the Vav Kitzvais. The Godless, the Yud Gimel Shonim, and within he actually acquires the other four parts that he's missing. He's only, uh, uh, the, and it becomes uh, complete. So of a the Anpin, but that's not the case over here when we're talking about Eric Anpin. Vaf of of the Irik Khan Gambazir Anpin, but let's say even though it's already taught all is talking about Zir Anpin, because it's Bishama Mari Rashbi, or Bira Gro, Gomoshin is Bar Bibira Shulh of Aris Ain Sham, Im Kazer Bhavri Iker Pirkim Irika could bedikna the Eric Anpin. So really, we're talking about Eric on pins, so not to get, let's not give it too much confused over here. The Ula Liesh Lomad the Gamba Eric Anpin, Chashe Vedikna Shlemusa the Partsufa, because even there the Dikna is considered to, to be the complete, the completion or the perfection, I like that word better, of his parts. Vinacha the Fira Bavura be Eitzchaim, according we said with that, Shes Arvos the Dikna. Let's talk about the hairs, the Eric Anpin. Heim hamayim, heim hamayim nukvim ubiru rechamalachim hamis hamis baradim ayedeh b'mochus timo ayin sham. So let me just get the picture out again. He says shesaris adikna. I thought he was going to say something else. The Eric Anpin, heim hamayim nukvim. They themselves are mayim nukvim. That that's the place. I guess that's the draw. What he said. That's the magnet. I don't know. That's bringing up the nukvim. Uh, is is bringing up mayim nukvim that's going from the bottom to the top, or be beruga malachim and bringing up belurim la malachim am is barter them ayedecha b'mavostimor which goes up. He says this is the function of the beard. Now we've been talking previously. If I'm misunderstanding, okay, maybe I do. Previously, that everything is going downwards from the top to the bottom in the beard. Here he says that the beard actually is a magnetic force that actually pulls up berurim. They make it possible because the the beard is connected to the the Eric Anpin, Ein Shon. So there's a whole thing over there. Uh, I don't remember it, but there it is. Beam Kane Shaffer. So therefore, it comes out like this is good. 
Yesh that comes out good. He says Yesh Lomer the Zera B'Shleim Musach of Viyaki Rusel the parts of the Eric Anben. So this is its perfection, its ultimate glory of the parts of, and that means the the template for the ultimate working of the internal parts of. Bukayin the Zera of Rechel the Holon. See that. See that later on. B'Shem Sefer Avos Hashem Al Ha'Idra Zuta. And that's the share today. Thank you, Rebbe. Thank you, Rebbe. Call Tuf. Thank you.